Welcome to Love and Marriage Channel with Ola Falabi. In today's video, you will learn how to communicate effectively during courtship. In marriage, good communication skills will contribute to the peaceful atmosphere in the home. This video is part three of the Courtship Goals series. In part one, I discussed how to grow in friendship love during courtship to sustain your commitment to be together. And in part two, I shared how you can both achieve spiritual connection through your faith in God. I encourage you to watch these videos and share them with your friends and family. My name is Salah Falabi. I teach biblical principles and Christian values for building healthy relationships and loving lasting marriage God's way. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you. Please subscribe if you are yet to do so, so that you can watch more relationships, love and marriage videos. Also tap the notification bell and you will be notified when I upload my next video. It is important for you to learn how to communicate effectively so that your relationship can be meaningful, enriching and fulfilling. The way you communicate is part of your character and this includes your words, your tone of voice as well as non-verbal communication such as your gesture, your posture and facial expression. God is a great communicator and you being created in his image should speak like him with wisdom, kindness, honor and respect. The book of James chapter 1 verse 19 says, Understand this, my beloved brothers and sisters. Let everyone be quick to hear. Be a careful, thoughtful listener. Slow to speak, a speaker of carefully chosen words. And slow to anger, patient, reflective, forgiving. So, to communicate effectively, you must be quick to listen. You need to listen to your intended spouse so that you can understand what they're saying to you. Don't assume that you know what they want to say before they speak. Being too eager to say what is on your mind without giving the other person the chance to express themselves can lead to communication breakdown. It is more beneficial for you to listen first before sharing your opinions, so you must exercise self-control at all times. Avoid interrupting the other person while they are talking, and this will give them confidence that you are listening. Just as Proverbs chapter 18 verse 13 says, let people finish before you try to answer them. That way you will not embarrass yourself and look foolish. Don't be judgmental and don't make assumptions about what you've been told. Rather, ask clarifying questions to understand the other person's point of view and paraphrase what you think you've heard. This will show them that you're trying to understand what they're saying. Effective listening will promote peace in your relationship. If you're busy preparing how you will respond while the other person is talking, then you're not really listening. Rather, show genuine interest in what they're saying and put yourself in their shoes. Secondly, you must be slow to speak. When it is time for you to respond, Choose your words carefully. In other words, think before you speak. You must say the right things for the right reasons and speak the truth in love. So when you speak, look out for the other person's interests and make them feel respected and understood. Speak to your intended spouse the same way you would like to be spoken to. Your words must build up rather than pull down. When you speak edifying words, you're honoring God. Be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit so that your mouth can be a blessing continually. In James chapter 3 from verse 4, the Bible asks us to think about the ships that sail on the sea. These ships are very large and are pushed by powerful, strong winds. However, they are controlled by a small piece of wood. Verse 5 says, In the same way, a tongue is a very small part of a body, but it speaks as if it is very great. Think about this. A very small fire can cause even a big forest to burn completely. So it is important for you to control your tongue and choose your words wisely. Thirdly, you must be slow to get angry. When you communicate, don't let your emotions take over. 
When anger sets in, it could lead to hurtful words, insults, shouting, sarcasm, and every unwholesome speech. This will make it difficult for the other person to understand the true message you're trying to convey. When you do get angry, be quick to forgive. Where there is no forgiveness, it will be very challenging to communicate effectively. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 26 to 27 says, And don't sin by letting hunger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you're still angry, for hunger gives a foothold to the devil. So, don't let the devil manipulate you into holding a grudge, because unresolved anger will lead to bitterness. Learn to deal with any issues that comes up in your relationship and get them resolved quickly. Work as a team to attack the problem rather than attacking each other. Be humble and apologize when you're wrong. Disagree in an agreeable way and don't keep bringing up issues that you've already dealt with. Keeping scores will only prevent you from focusing on the current situation. There is no competition, so don't try to win an argument. Start practicing these communication tips in your relationship and let me know in the comment section if you would like me to discuss any of the topics in more detail. Once again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. God bless you and I look forward to sharing with you how to maintain sexual purity in courtship goals at home.